I have seen kava called psychoactive in both the psychedelic encyclopedia and on the web, which increased my interest in trying out this new substance. My first attempt at kava was thwarted by the employees at the health food store. Note. These people are not psychonauts. In fact, they are anti-psychonaut. Never listen to them. They told me to buy a kava tea. Start small they said, work your way up. This turned out to be a big mistake, as kava is not very soluble in water and thus it makes no sense to drink a tea made from the stuff, though the tea was not entirely unpleasant. One would have to consume the actual root to get any effects, or at least some extracted form of it. My second experiment with kava included three friends. I took two 55% cavalactone extract pills, as did one guy. The other two took each one pill. The result was nothing except night and the kava literally stole our high. My third kava experiment involved the same pills, but this time I took three. And again there were no noticeable psychoactive changes, though I may or may not have had some supposed stress relief. It was still nothing like the a mild sense of refreshment we had smoked pot earlier, that I have heard described. Finally, on the fourth day, I decided to break the pattern and try something new. I emptied six of the capsules into a shot glass, then filled a small juice glass with milk. I slowly mixed them together and drank all the contents. The theory here is that the capsule inhibited digestion of the active ingredients. This time I got what I would call a threshold effect. I did not feel high or stoned, but I definitely felt more creative and imaginative. In addition I felt slight increase in sensation and mild blurring of the vision. This lasted for about two hours during which I felt very free. The effect seemed to hint to me that kava would be an excellent drug to combine with marijuana or, possibly salvia 5 or 10x. Further experiments will be reported.